Infrastructure is our roads, our bridges, our airports, and our dams. It's the networks you see, like our ports, electric transmission lines, and commuter rail, and the networks you don't see, including our drinking water and wastewater pipes that run underground. Infrastructure is our quality of life. It drives our economy. It's every part of our daily lives from the moment we wake up in the morning till we go to bed at night. Freight railroads move all the things that we need and want, food, water, energy, um, clothes, shelter. All those pieces that we see are connected by a tremendous amount of other infrastructure underground. And that infrastructure is supporting our daily lives. Engineers are good at what they do. And so we build systems often that you can forget about. We rely on these things so much that we take them for granted. We have been on a infrastructure vacation for the last 30 years. Our nation's infrastructure has been earning a D plus uh, in, in the D range since its inception of the report card in 1998 and that reflects a lack of investment. We didn't get into this situation overnight, and we're not going to solve it overnight. But if we don't begin increasing the investment we've made, we'll never solve it. Infrastructure has to depend on lawmakers and citizens to have their voice heard. It's not just a federal issue. It's not just a state issue. It belongs to all of us, and we'll have to work together.